Yeah. Well, let's, let's read. Do you want? Do you want me to read it? Yeah, but what? what if you say the with Jesus, though, that's why. What, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. First, let's Jesus. establish what's in the scripture. Okay. The scripture okay. you believe in, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Here it says, surely. Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny and Jesse, so right about now we're going to do another reaction video, but before we get into the reaction because I want to thank you so much, you're the realest MVP, thank you for getting us to 15,000 subscribers, you are the realest, thank you so much. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video, this one right here was suggested by a lot of people, particularly there's a guy who actually suggested to us and he goes by the name Life Life, I don't know why I chose that name, probably there's a meaning towards that, but anyway. He decided that we should go react to Israelite versus Adnan versus Visitors Speaker's Corner. This Hyde Park. I think this park is is famously known for people gathering and just trying to educate each other religiously in the in the UK or something like that. Anyway, so without any further ado, guys, let's get it. I just use it as an example to say some verses are clear. But, my, no, my but now tell me the same person who received this verse. And gave it to the Israelites, commanded the Israelites to go and kill. What verse? Thou shalt not kill. I just want to know what that's got to do with Jesus. What does that got to do with Jesus? You use that verse. No, I just gave you an example. You gave me an example of what? You no, said certain verses in the Bible no, are straightforward. No, I'm saying no, the Bible no, has no, to no, be no, interpreted. No, no, no. The, the Bible is a book you read about. Well, you don't the problem is, you don't understand. we're not going to agree, obviously. No, but tell me why Jesus is the Messiah. Give, I just you, told you, you, the, you give I've the been here for the last 15 minutes. I told you, you why he's the, the Messiah. And tell me, this is why I believe it's Jesus. Okay. That's what I want to Psalm know. 91, I gave you one prophecy about Jesus Christ. That, How is it about Jesus, though? You just okay. Psalms. What we do know, historically, his life was threatened. No doubt. Jesus' so life. Many people's lives were threatened. Can, so can I finish? Can I finish? Do you want to can listen I, to the whole Yeah, or you. I've been there for a yeah. while. Can you answer oh, the you, question? Yeah. Can you answer the question? But, but I think you're you doing a question? good job. Can you answer it? Am but I talking if, to if you? If he doesn't, then we'll come in. If but he was doing a good job, I would not be here for 20 minutes. It's a simple question. Why is Jesus the Messiah? You're can not you listening. You're not even listening to my answer. You're not listening. He's smart. He seems to be smart. He wants to talk. I'm, I'm talk. pretty sure everyone here is smart. I, I, I didn't, I didn't answer claim the question it. then. I didn't claim it. But answer the question then. But thank you for that. <laughs> answer the question then. I didn't claim to be if smart. You don't know the answer. That, okay. Now, can, you get can, you back to speak, topic? can you let me speak to him? All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Unless you can answer the if question. You, if you let me finish my answer, right, ahead, you'll probably ahead, understand ahead, ahead. why we believe that prophecy applies to Jesus Show Christ. Show me in the book. You prove it through the book, though. Don't Which you book? What you think. Which book? However you're proving it's about is Jesus is the Messiah. However you're proving it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's about Kedar, yes. That's, that's a different prophet. Yeah. It's not very difficult. It's Kedar is in Arabia, yes. Sela is a mountain in Medina. In the city of the Prophet, Wait, Prophet the Muhammad. Of sing for joy? Yes, yes, hundred percent. That cannot be anyone else. So, so the point is. That's all I'm asking. It's just about Jesus. You know, okay, Psalm 91. Not Psalm, true, okay, not let's. You you believe Psalm 91 to be from it's God? Not, it's not about what I believe. You're trying to show me why Jesus is the Messiah. How do I talk to you? I'm listening. Psalm 91. Do you believe it is from it's God? About belief. You have to show me it's about Jesus. If if. Where? From where? I don't know. You, you, I'm listening to you. You tell. How do you? How do I show you a concept about Jesus when you, you don't describe it to me? Do you believe in the scripture? Of course. So I that do. you do. So you do believe the scripture is from God. Yes, I do. Psalm 91 includes that. I, I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Psalm 91 talks about a man being rescued against. This looks exactly like my phone. <laughs> it's not. I'll prove that to you. <laughs> My God, it's exactly the same. Look, <laughs> even the cover. It's spooky, isn't it? Yeah, I know. This is like. <laughs> okay. I thought, how did my phone? That's a miracle. Okay. Okay. Now, Psalm 91, very quickly, is talking about a person whose life will be threatened and he will call upon God and God will save him. And angels will lift him on their wings. And now clearly you believe in that. 
just says, says it. Yeah, if she says it, yeah. Well, it, let's read it. Do you, want, do you want me to read it? Yeah, but what, what if you say the, with Jesus, though? That's why it was. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. First, let's Jesus. establish what's in the scripture, okay. the scripture you believe in, okay. right? Uh -huh. Here it says, Surely he will save you from the foulest snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague. Okay, continue, right? If you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near you, near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves me say the lord i will rescue him i will protect him for he acknowledges my name he will call on me and i will answer him i will be with him in trouble i will deliver him and honor him with long life i will save him or satisfy him and show him my salvation him 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 he 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 so what do we learn in this particular psalm there will, there will be a him who will call upon God. God will rescue him. He will be lifted up by the angels on the wings. His enemies will not succeed against him. He will have a long life and God will fulfill his promise made towards him. Now, it is clear that in this psalm, there is a prophecy that these things will happen in the future. Someone will call upon God and he will be rescued. Now, who was that? Quran. Yeah, yeah, Quran. Jesus. Quran. No, no, it says the same, so thing. The same thing in the Quran, chapter four, so chapter four, verse 157. So that pull this about, up. That was about Jesus. Wait, let me read you the Quran now. How the Quran? You, how does the Quran? Get it? I, yeah. Because I'm going to ask a Christian. Okay, here. Yeah. Look, look, look what the Quran says. Yeah. The Quran says, "As for their saying." the Jewish people. Indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But it was made to, it was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it, except uh, the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. The next verse, The next verse is the point. Angels will lift him on their wings. Remember that? Psalm 91. Rather, Allah raised him to himself. And ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. That means God specifically raised him up. Just like Psalm 91 says that angels will lift him. They will lift him on their wings. Right? Okay. And there will be no one left from the people of the book. And there is none from the people of the scripture, but that he will surely believe in Jesus before his death. In other words, Jesus has not died. He was rescued. He was lifted up. He was raised and he was kept alive. And on the day of resurrection, he will be against them a witness. The Quran correlates directly with the prophecy in Psalm 91, right? So here, unless you are willing to tell us who that was, the, the prophecy is referring to. Who is the prophecy referring to if it's not Jesus? If you say it's about Jesus, okay, I'll take your word for it. But okay, now that you take is, my word for it. Say, if you say it's about Jesus, I'll take so, your word for it. But my point is, yeah. what has Jesus got to do with any of those things in the book? That's what I don't understand. I, okay. don't, I know you guys are obsessed about this Jesus guy. And if you say he's a good guy, I'll give it to you. I don't care. He, he was a great oh, guy. Okay, okay if he's a great okay. guy, I'll give yeah, it to you. He was a great guy. Is, we love him very much for the reasons listen, because listen, God minute, talked about him. Give me one minute. My point is, what has it got to do with Jesus? That's my point. What? 
the prophecies in the book. The I just gave you a prophecy and I showed you why no, it is no, Jesus. No, 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 I'm talking about the Messiah. That's okay. going to come. Psalm 91 is a messianic, is a messianic psalm. I am claiming you, that. You it's a messianic saying? psalm. Okay. okay. If you say it is, but let's yes. what I'm And if it is a messianic psalm, does that, that means it is Jesus. Listen. And if that if it is Jesus, listen. then Islam listen. is true. Listen. 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 I think he's asking listen. Listen. what, what's his purpose going to be. No, 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 no. What I'm asking is what has it got to do with Jesus? Jesus is not the Jesus did not fulfill any of those prophecies that talked about hang on, hang on, that talked about the Messiah coming at the end of days. He's going to bring peace to the world. He's going to build a third day. Listen, no, listen, no, listen, 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 listen. listen. There's have, no... have we reached the end of days? Can I, can, I, can I speak? Yes. You're making my point. Yes. The Messiah in that book is coming at the end of days. He's going to build a third temple. There's going to be peace in the world. Okay. Listen, can I respond to that? Before you the respond, Quran responded uh, to that. Listen, let me talk. Come on. Yeah. That is the point. My point is, I'm not saying that Jesus is not a nice guy. If you say I'm not saying he's not. Well, nice. What has that prophecy got to do with Jesus? Okay, I'm gonna that's explain. I'm gonna respond and to why you. Do you think the, he's a the Quran. Well, yeah, that's what Psalm, I know. Okay, I'm. I'm it's not even about Psalm 91. Yeah, the problem just, is you're not listening. You're, just, maybe just, there is a block. I'm you need to lift the block. Okay. You're not listening to what my question is. You're I listen to your question very carefully. I have repeatedly that's answered your question. No, you you're not listening to my answers. You're reading 91. Can, I, can you let me speak to the guy? Unless you can answer the question. What has the Messiah that's going to come at the end of days talked about in the Tanakh? What has that got to do with Jesus? Good. That's can I respond? Question. Can yes. I respond? The Messiah. And if you can answer it, then answer it. Don't keep jumping in. If you can answer it, answer it. He's struggling. I can understand your frustration, but I think he has answered your question. You just don't want to understand it. No, my question is. I understand the frustration. He's answering it. I can understand the frustration. Calm down. He's answering it. I'm going to give you a final. I'm going to give you a final sentence. Listen, all I want to know is. I'm about to give you an answer, but you don't want to. Please, can these guys just shut up? What? What do these prophecies yes. have to do with Jesus Christ? To do with Jesus Christ. About That's the right. Messiah coming near the end of times. Yes. We believe yeah. all of these prophecies put together in the Quran as well as the Bible, they make sense. No, okay, no, can, no, can, no, you, can, you, can you be silent yeah. for Go another ahead. few not seconds? And, and, and listen, can you lift on, the block from on. your ears on, and listen ahead. to me? Thank you. Like I'm listening to you. Okay. Yeah. This Messiah who's foretold in the scripture. Mm -hmm. That he will come the near, near the end of time. He will come near end the end of, of times, end of and he will establish justice. Yes. Okay. I'm we believe, yes. based upon the prophecies already given to you, that it is Jesus. Why? Let me explain why. Why? Jesus why? Wait. Wait. You're obviously not listening to me. He just said Jesus was killed. I give you a prophecy from the Old Testament, Psalm 91, which clearly tells you he will not be killed. He will be protected. The Quran says the same thing. He will not be killed and he will return near the end of times. Jesus. And this is where we end. I don't think I have any more brain cells to waste here. Sorry, sorry. I have to go. I don't care what this is about Jesus. I have to escape. Can you say? Can you say? Save me, please save me. I'm talking about the Messiah. You're telling me about Jesus. I'm talking Jesus is the Messiah. Are you not listening for the last 20 how minutes? Be, oh listen, my God. How can he be the Messiah? For the when, reasons on, I gave hang on, you. Hang on, hang on. How can he be the Messiah when the prophecies in the Tanakh says that person is going to come at the end of days. He's going to build. Can I finish? Can I, he's he's going to build wait, the wait, temple. Wait, wait. Can so I listen, can I speak? Yeah, yeah. You're, You're going to tell me that Jesus has done these things. He's going to build a third temple. It's going to gather all the children of Israel back to Israel. There's going to be no more wars. The cows and the bears and the rats, everything is going to be friends. He's going to be scared. He's going yes, to, he's a man we believe that's Jesus. But Jesus is dead. Well, that's Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Let him finish. Whoever, Let him finish. Are you not listening to me? Hang on. Whoever you are not listening to me. You have a hearing I'm issue. To you. You, are, you have a hearing I'm issue. Okay, there I, is no third temple. How can it for be the last 20 minutes, I've been telling you Jesus did not die. I don't care. According to Psalm 91, he did not listen, die. Listen, he cannot die. Listen, listen. And you're not listening. Listen, so that's why I have to escape. Listen, you're not, you can't answer the question. Of course I can't. Always play there. Always play there. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Interesting, interesting debate over here, man. Wow. What? So one guy over here 
uh, is giving out a scripture on uh, why Jesus, I mean, sorry, one guy over here is giving a scripture and trying to make this person understand that Jesus did not die. While this other guy is like, Jesus died, and how is he going to come back and build a temple and do all those things and come back as a messiah or something like that? Anyway, such an amazing, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Life Life for something for giving us this reaction. This is a really good reaction, actually. And it's uh, one thing about these debates over here, it's really entertaining. Yeah, entertaining uh, has uh, informative and they are also educational, they get it at a different level. And uh, these are two people who have different beliefs uh, per se. But um, I think the guy called Adnan or something, Adnan, is, is, is he actually brought in some, you know, some uh, reference or maybe I can call it proof that it, it, it was written down in the Bible and also in the Quran that Jesus did not die. And it talks about he cannot die. And the other guy is probably, he's more of a open-minded type of a guy who really wants to understand. He's like this type of a person who, please make me understand. This guy died, but why is he coming back as a messiah when he, he was dead? <laughs> you understand? He's the type of person that he's not believing the fact that someone died. So how is he coming back? Imagine like you die and uh, and then your mom is being told like, hey, your son is going to come back as a messiah. You're going to be perturbed. You're going to be like, go crazy. Like why? But he died. You get my point? So this guy is, is that type of a person. So. Uh, Clearly, we don't blame him, you get my point, and everyone is here to learn, and no one is criticizing one another here, it's just a, a thing of trying to learn, uh, learn one or two things and trying to interpret whatever is written in the Bible, And because in the Bible clearly it talks about Jesus was crucified, and um, uh, he... Um, he died and he was taken to the tomb for like three days and then he's, he resurrected and then he was taken to heaven while in the Quran he talks about Jesus did not die he wasn't crucified he was just taken out uh, he was he was he was lifted up uh, by, by God you get it and you see that's why uh, in, in this debates right here it's really entertaining but uh, it's really hard for people to come up with a with a, with a, with, a, with, a, with a, like one understanding like okay fine let's understand that this is what happened and you know they cannot come up to one common understanding but the major common understanding is that we all pray to God Allah you get it that's the most <laughs> amazing understanding anyway guys this has been such an amazing reaction I love it if you have more reaction like this just make sure to hit us and the uh comment section below just let us know and we're gonna do it for you and the most important thing guys don't and uh if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section tell us exactly what you think about this um reaction what do you think about my reaction what do you think about this video right here man such a amazing video just let me know the comment section the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm going to see you rather we're going to see you in the next video and peace out